Today we are going to take a look at Melite, a cheap Chinese Philips Hue competitor which can be controlled via cheap remote or your home automation server with an ESP8266. So let's -a go! I guess when you click on this video, you already know what Philips Hue is. You can buy just regular bulbs for 66 bucks, but when you're getting started and buying into this ecosystem, you will need Philips Hue Bridge. So I guess this starter pack will be your choice. It includes two Philips Hue bulbs, like this one, which alone costs 66 bucks, you will get here the bridge with them. That set you back 95 euros. So in Melite costs 50 euros for four bulbs. Each have six watts. And yes, it only costs 50 euros. And it includes a remote control. So, there's also a 9 watt version of the Mi Light Pipes. I guess this is a little bit closer to the Philips U in direct wattage comparison. They are, of course, a little bit ex more expensive, but they also include a remote control. So, last but not least, there are many more products for of the Mi Light series, like this RGBW light stripe controller. This one is not so interesting, I guess, because it's quite expensive, but it works really well. I got one cheap from China. Like most Melite products, you can get them way cheaper when you wait for some kind of coupon or deal from an AliExpress seller, but then you have to wait way longer to get them. So I'm just comparing on the Amazon side here. So the last part you will need for this project is an ESP8266. I will use a dev board because there you already have the micro USB port on board, which is quite handy. And you will need this receiver and transmitter. I will link to both of these things in the description down below, so you can buy it directly from there or get it somewhere else. So this is the Melite bulb, it's just a regular bulb. You can use it just by taking your old bulb out of your lamp and screwing the new one, the new Melite bulb in place of the old one. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Pretty easy. Now the next step is to connect the ESP8266 board with the transmitter. You can actually just use some DuPont cables to connect all 8 pins. I will link to the scheme, schema down below, but here it is. If you just want to pause it, do it now. So, I've done it. I sorted it down because I like that it's just finished. Now I will just quickly design a small case where I can put in this ESP. It's nothing special and everybody who ever did anything modeling related should be able to do it.
So, let's get to the software we will need to control the Melite bulbs. It's called Melite Hub and you can see there are quite a few compatible remote controls and here's everything neatly. You can read it up, I will put a link down in the description, but just let's get one of the releases. You can either download the source code and compile it by yourself but I think it's more comfortable to just download one release for a board you are using. As you've seen, I'm using just ESP12 dev board, so I will take this. Now, in order to install it, you have to, or I, use the ESP tool. You can easily install it via this command. I already have it installed, so let's progress. Now we use the ESP tool to um, flash the downloaded firmware to the ESP. Here we give the port where our ESP is connected via a micro USB cable to our computer. Then we set the mode to write flash at address 0. And now we only have to provide the pass to the binary file we downloaded a second ago. And last thing we have to do is hit enter and install the software. So now you should reset your ESP either while unplugging and replugging it or just by pressing the onboard button. And now you it will open a hotspot which you should connect to and enter your Wi-Fi credentials. I'm using here uh, my phone because for me it's just more comfortable to do it this way but you can do it with your laptop or whatever. Just go to your Wi-Fi section and there will be some kind of hotspot like this ESP with some random number and the default password will be Melite Hub with a capital H. Now I will connect and this nice little setup prompt will open. We just press configure Wi-Fi and now there will be the Wi-Fi networks nearby, just click the one you want and enter your password. So now we can visit the IP address on the East Bami Light Hub got assigned to or use MDNS if your operating system does support this, but I just used IP address. So this is the front end you will see. Um, here are a brief go through of the settings. You can set a password for the front end, but I don't really need this. Setup, I don't know, not really interesting for me either. You can set the pins and something more. The most interesting setting is MQTT. Here you can set the uh, IP address of the MQTT server you are using. We will be using this later on for a home assistant integration. Then the topic pattern and state topic pattern and everything else is written down here again on the GitHub page of the Melite Hub. And yes, we just copy them and put them in the fields you can see here. Then you have to use the MQTT username and password of your MQTT server and this top up topic pattern. Now, finally, let's add a bulb. We need to give him a device ID. Here are some restrictions you, you can see in red and you can give it a device name. But when you do this, you can't change the group afterwards. 
see it just disappears, you can't change it. You have to set the group first and then add a device name. Um, if you're satisfied with your selection, you can press the pair button, but I will delete both again to show when you first select group and then add again a name and an ID, it will stay in this group. So now you have to switch on your lamp and press the pair button within three seconds, then the light will flash three times and now you can set the light via your browser. Pretty easy. Now the last step is to connect the remote. For this, just turn on again the lamp and press one of the zone on buttons three times. Then again, the lamp will flash three times. And now you can control the lamp with the remote too. I'm using the file editor to configure the uh, config.yaml from Home Assistant. There we need this part. There is a yaml anchor, which then just can be added to every me light you want to edit. Um, you can copy it from here. It's again the GitHub page from the me light repository. And you need the definition of every MeLite entity for Home Assistant. So we will just copy it and paste it down here. I already gave it a name and this is the reference for the YAML anchor. The first part is, I don't know, the second part of the command topic is the light ID, then the remote ID, and then finally the group we assigned it to. Because we cannot reload just the configuration, we have to restart the server real quickly. I will speed this up because I'm running on a Raspberry Pi 3 and it takes some time. Okay, now we can go here to the, our dashboard or whatever and add our light. Just add a, add a light entity and type in the name you gave your me light and there it should be. And that's basically it. You can control it just on off when you're pressing on the light or turn down the brightness with the slider around the bulb and here you can control the color. I hope you liked it and see you next time.